We're rolling. Okay, this is an interview at the Jefferson Ferry Center, South Setauk at New York. It is the 16th of March, 2005, approximately 4 p.m. Interviewers are Wayne Clark and Mike Russert. Could you give me your full name, date of birth, and place of birth, please? John Petchy, uh, 9919, uh, Brooklyn, New York. Okay. Uh, what was your educational background prior to entering the service? I was a high school graduate. Okay. Do you remember where you were and uh, how you heard about Pearl Harbor? Yes. I was in the Army uh, at uh, Texas, and uh, we had gone on a field trip to Causeway Caverns. Mm -hmm. So about uh, 1 o'clock in the afternoon, we were sitting down for lunch there, and uh, the park ranger made that announcement. Pearl Harbor had just been attacked. Nobody knew any where Pearl Harbor yeah, was right. at the time. Yeah. But yeah. How, what was your reaction to that? You well, I figured I'll be in the army for another few years. Mm -hmm. you know, okay. the duration was. was now, were you were you drafted or yes, did you? Yes, so was a second draft. Second draft. Yeah, okay. February uh, 14th, 1941. Okay. Um, where did you go for your basic training? Uh, basic training was in Camp Hewlett, Texas, uh, Palacios, Texas, mm -hmm. 120 miles from Houston, Gulf Coast. All right, now you went through just the plain basic training? But then at then that I went time. to medical school, Okay. medical technician school. Oh, did you go to that right away or did no, you do the... About Ten months later, right before okay. I was supposed to get out. All right, now the basic training that you took in Texas, um, did you use the the ammo, 1903s or no, in a medical corps you don't use any? Uh, okay, well I thought it was basic. Right. Uh -huh. yeah. Okay. Yeah. Um, right. right. So what kind of uh, specialized training did you get to be in the um, the uh, medical corps? Medical technician. Okay. What yeah, was my rating? What was what kind of specialized training did well, they give? We worked you? in a hospital a lot. We had mm -hmm. a station hospital. Were you trained as a medic? Yes. Initially. Right. And whereabouts was the school for that? Uh, it was up in El Paso, William Beaumont General Hospital. Okay. All right. Was there an army base near there? Or? Right. Right across the way was the, I think, the 7th Cavalry. Oh, okay. Fort Bliss. Okay. Fort Bliss. <coughs> yep. No, it was up in El Paso. Okay. Yeah. All right, so uh, how much specialized medical training did you receive then? You said 10 months? Well, we worked in the hospital for, I worked there for about nine months and then I went up to school and was about a, a little better than a month. Then the war was declared and they pulled us out of there. We went back, we were getting ready to go overseas. One of the first stops in school. It was the 98th infantry. Now in the medical corps, did you have guys that were like conscientious objectors? No, or? no. Most of them had been draftees. Okay. You know. 1941. Okay. Yeah. No, they were, I don't think there were any uh, conscientious objectors in, in our outfit. I don't know. Mm -hmm. So where did uh, you went from uh, Texas to where then? Uh, to San Francisco. Or did you go by ship right from no, Texas? No, no, or No, we took the railroad. Okay. It's a railroad over to uh, the city over in uh, San Francisco. Mm -hmm. No, we took a boat from there the 28th of February. Okay, now did you go by uh, convoy? Yes, I think there were either 12 or 16 ships in that convoy. Mm -hmm. We were on a troop ship, USS Republic, uh, US, United States Troop Ship Republic. Mm -hmm. And uh, you went right, right into Hawaii then from there? Yeah, it took about 12 days. Mm -hmm. Did you get seasick at all? <laughs> of course, right? <laughs> not, not on a big boat, but we had to take an inter-island steamer when we got to Hilo. Uh -huh. So we were going to Maui. That's another, uh, I guess maybe a half a day away or something like that. Okay. From Hilo. Yeah. How were the living conditions on board ship? Were, was it pretty crowded? Or? Uh, the Navy, I guess, ran it. Yeah, oh yeah, they had, I think, about 4,000 troops in uh -huh. there, yeah. Big ship, yeah. 
Now, when you uh, ended up in Hawaii, where did you go and, and what kind of hospital did you work in there? Well, we went up to a place called Makawao at uh, Maui and we set up a hospital, a 22nd Station Hospital. We stayed there for two and a half years. And then uh, in October of 44, we went over to uh, Oahu, right outside of Wheeler Field. Mm -hmm. set up another, there was a hospital in and we took over. Now the one you, you initially set up, uh, yeah. was that a building or were, were there tents or? In Texas, in Texas, we were in tents, mm -hmm. but then when we got over there, they built barracks. Oh, okay. Yeah, barracks. Mm -hmm. What was the equipment like that you had in your hospital? Was it pretty oh, up yeah. to date? Oh yeah. Mm -hmm. Now, what kind similar of similar to a med shop? Mm -hmm. Only we didn't move, but we we could have moved on the cover, but they never left. Mm -hmm. they, they stayed there, so we went over to. Uh, okay. What uh, what kind of uh, People did you handle when they came into you? Were they accidents or? Right, and we took care of the 4th Marine Division when they came back from Saipan and that. So you had a lot of wounded yeah. troops. Yeah, we got we got some. Uh, the real uh, serious uh, uh, patients went back to the states, I guess. Uh -huh. uh, California. Yeah, we we got some. Now, did you work in the operating room? No, or? no, I didn't know. I worked in the uh, registrar's office. Okay. Now, you said in this uh, form that you filled out that uh, yeah. one of the things that you had come in was a um, an ac training accident with the 22nd Marine Division. Right. Could you tell us about that? What yeah. happened? I think the uh, somebody had lobbed a uh, shell in there or something. They were all out for you know, whatever. Mm -hmm. and, you know, this was a training a, accident. Yeah, yeah. They uh -huh. brought them all in. I mean, there was about maybe 15 to 20 who uh, were killed outright, I guess, and the others were kept in the hospital to be taken care of, you know, mm -hmm. recuperated, taken care of, yes. Now, did you work under under doctors? Yeah, yeah we had doctors, yeah. Doctors are all the... Uh, Medical, uh, they're all medical officers, mm -hmm. and they, you know, they do the uh, hospital work, and then you have what they call uh, medical uh, administrative assistants. Like they just do the administrative. They're not doctors; mostly lieutenants and captains. Did you have a lot of nurses, or yeah, we had nurses. Yeah. We had about fifty nurses. Uh -huh. yeah. Did you have? Uh, like enlisted uh, wax also? No, there were no wax here. Okay. I didn't see wax till I got back to the States. <laughs> yeah, I guess they kept them mostly over here. So how many were, you were in the, you call it the 22nd uh, Station, Station Hospital. Hospital. How many were in that unit? About 250. Mm -hmm. How many of them were doctors? You Well, the doctor, I'm not counting, I'm just counting enlisted persons. Mm -hmm. Doctors, I guess they had about maybe 20 or 30, mm -hmm. something like that. Were the enlisted allowed to fraternize with, like, say, the nurses? No, no. That's mm -hmm. supposedly against uh, Army regulations. Uh -huh. You know how many nurses there were approximately? Yeah. I'd say a good 20 or 25. Yeah. So even though it was against the regulations, nothing Nothing went on like that. <laughs> no, not like they see on television. Okay. That bad stuff. No, no, forget it. <laughs> no, it was kept fairly well. Mm -hmm. so, yeah, okay. The doctors were like it for fraternizing with the nurses, mm -hmm. enlisted on it, off limits. Mm -hmm. Now, how was the food there? Good. We had good food. You must have had cooks there full time then, and you didn't have to eat the the army rations. No, so. no. Maybe we went on bivouac once or something. Mm -hmm. that was mm -hmm. No, we didn't have any K-rations or any of that stuff. We were lucky. We, mm -hmm. we just lucked out. See, being over there so long, they decided that I guess you were getting stale or something because they, you know, and so they didn't send you out to the Philippines or anything. So they just stayed there till the end of the war. Mm -hmm. Did you get to see any USO shows or was there oh, any yeah, kind of entertainment? Bob Hope. They all come up to the hospital to entertain the patients. Uh huh. Yeah. yeah we had a lot of uh, entertainers. Yeah. 
Could you name some of the ones besides Bob Hope that you saw? Bob Hope, uh, Joey Brown, you all remember him? Yeah. And uh, a lot of them, I can't even remember half of them. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Did you get much uh, time where you were on your own that you could go into the villages or in the city or anything? You pass. You'd maybe mm -hmm. once a week or so you go out on pass, yeah. Mm -hmm. Did you ever go into Pearl Harbor? Yeah. What did you think of when you saw what had? Well, happened? it was almost all over by right. then. Yeah, yeah. We, yeah, we were only about seven miles from Pearl City. Mm -hmm. And uh, the only thing there, I guess, was the Pennsylvania, right? The Arizona. That the, was Arizona so, yeah, yeah. Yeah, the Arizona, yeah. The Arizona one that they're looking at now, yeah. So most of the damage was pretty well cleaned up by the time right. you went there. Yeah, because yeah, we went over in October of uh, 44. Mm -hmm. Um, were there any uh, people that you were with that kind of stood out as, as friends or that impressed you the most while you were there? Yeah, right. yeah, as friends. <laughs> okay. Um, were you there uh, when the atomic bombs were dropped? No, I wasn't. I, I was discharged in May of 1945. Oh, yes, okay, I see that, yeah. The bomb came later. Where, whereabouts were you when uh, you heard about the death of President Roosevelt? I guess that happened in April. I was on Ferrell, on a 45 degree uh, day Ferrell. Mm -hmm. and we, went, we came back on Ferrell and then we would have to return, but then they immediately put us out on a point system, on 85 points, so I could get up on about 120, I think, something like that. Yeah. So you were discharged then in... Yeah. Uh, yeah, before the war ended, okay. the second war. Mm -hmm. right. um, where were you discharged? Fort Dix. Dix, okay. Um, when you went home, did you make use of the GI Bill at all? Yes, I went to school. Did you ever use the 5220 Club? Yeah, I was on that when I first came out, yeah. Mm -hmm. then, I, then I got a job in the uh, Army base. As a civilian, mm -hmm. so I worked there for a few months, and then I worked in the VA for about three years. Mm -hmm. So you used your medical training then? Not in the VA, no. Oh, you didn't? No, I was in rehab, rehab centers. Oh, okay. No, administrative, whatever you want to call it. Mm -hmm. No, I didn't go to any hospitals or anything. No. Mm -hmm. um, did you join any veterans organizations? Yeah, I belong to any veterans. Did you ever stay in contact with anyone that was in service with you? Oh yeah, good friends. Yeah, because we all came from the same area when we were mm -hmm. uh, drafted. We came from Brooklyn area, Bushwood section. Oh, so there were a group of you that were that stayed together? Yes, mm -hmm. yeah, quite a few. Yes, yeah. some of them uh, left, become officers or something mm -hmm. like that. But the majority is still there. Mm -hmm. All right. Uh, did you? Did your group ever have any reunions or anything? Yes, we had reunions over in the uh, Hotel Lexington, over in New York City. Mm -hmm. so we figured we'd go over there, about right. two or three of them. Then, you know, then everybody started to move away. <laughs> mm -hmm. Nobody left in Brooklyn. They yeah. all came out here. Yeah. <laughs> I went to Hempstead for 42 years. Mm -hmm. Okay. How do you think your uh, time in the service changed or had an effect on your life? Well, when you go in, you're more or less a kid, right? And you haven't been around that too, too much, so mm -hmm. you see a lot of things that you... Do you think you would have had an opportunity to travel as much as you did if you didn't go into the service? I know, I've done a lot of traveling since I've been have out. Have you? Okay. <laughs> no, that. <laughs> no, I, well, no. Years ago, nobody went didn't have any money. Mm -hmm. You know, money was tight, so yes. uh, where'd you go? New York, New Jersey, or Pennsylvania or something. Mm -hmm. <laughs> that was it. <laughs> Yeah. No, we wouldn't have traveled over the, you know, throughout mm -hmm. the United States. Mm -hmm. Okay. Could you, if you, uh, just hold these pictures up like this in front of you, okay. uh, maybe tell where and when those were taken? Oh, okay, good. I know right. it's written in the back. But... Right, right, right. Okay. Well, this picture here was taken on Maui, and uh, about 1942. And at that time, uh, Hawaii was a territory. It wasn't a state. Right. It became a state later on. And this is right near the mess hall there. Mm -hmm. 
Mm -hmm. I wouldn't ask like that. Uh, now, is that what is that you're wearing around your shoulder? Well, that's a guess. With we had to wear that for a while uh -huh. because they, you know, up until June of 1942, that's when you know things started to ease up. A right. Bit. Before that, when you went out past, you had to wear a helmet and gas mask. Mm -hmm. Okay. And what's that other picture you have? The other picture here, I guess, is uh, when I'm on uh, furlough. Not okay. furlough, I should say leave downtown uh, Maui. Mm -hmm. You'll get out maybe once a week, you know, a couple hours, that's all. Mm -hmm. With the strict uh, blackout and that. You had to be at home at 5 o'clock or something like that. Okay. Okay. Well, thank you very much right. for your interview.